All right, thank you, James. Thank you, Reed. Stay right here for me, folks. My, oh my, what a beautiful yeah. evening up here at the Edgewalk. It's an absolutely sunny view. Look at those clouds. Wow. And of course, gotta take a nice look around. And of course, a nice look down to the ground. Whoa, that's a long way down. Might even be higher than yesterday. Come on out here, folks. Check it out for yourselves. We have Chris, our fearless leader, coming along up here first. You're doing amazing there, Chris. And we got DJ coming up second. Thanks, James. Cool. You can follow me this way here, Chris. All right. Coming along all the way. See, you leveled out nice and easy. Beautiful work. So you two, as we walk along, I want to officially say, welcome to the Edgewalk. Give yourselves a big round of applause. You made it. All Amazing right. work, you two. All right, let go. Beautiful job. <laughs> Amazing work, Chris. Amazing job. Uh, now, in case you two are wondering, we are currently standing 356 meters above the ground. That's 1,168 feet or 116 building stories. Not too high, right? Yeah. If you are wondering, that is only level five of the tower, so you can't be that high up, right? <laughs> If you are feeling a little bit nervous or worried, or if you're just interested to know, this platform that we're standing on is 1.5 meters in width. That's about five feet. And that is the same size as the average sidewalk down on the ground. So if you can walk down there, I know you can walk up here. <laughs> Sounds good? All right. Couple other things to know just before we get started. If you smell anything good, no, you're not going crazy. We are just above the 360 restaurant oh, here at the CN Tower. So you might smell dinner coming up towards us. That is very much normal, especially this time of day. And if you take a look up, 31 stories above us, you can see SkyPod up there. You can give your fans a wave. Say hello to those folks. Doesn't look like anyone's up there right now, but we will check on with them as we go around the tower. Sounds right, good? We'll do. And lastly, you've looked up and you've looked around. Folks, it's your moment of truth. Take a little look down towards the ground for me. Oh my goodness. And you both can take a little step back in towards the tower for me now. All right. Feeling pretty good? Awesome. We're going to walk just a little further this way here, All folks. Right. Feeling pretty good, right? I'm feeling good, yeah, so yeah, yeah. I think it's time then for some activities, Fear of course, as well. okay. right? Like what we came to the Edgewalk today to do. So like I said, for all the activities, I will show you how it's done first. Then you two can try it out one at a time when I call your name. Sounds good? All right, yes. Awesome. Nice first thing, it's nice and easy, nothing to worry about. It's just a little game that I like to play called Toes over Toronto. All right, <laughs> so just watch me first. You're gonna turn out, face that beautiful lake, walk yourself all the way forward, Get those toes over Toronto. All right. Make sure you stand up nice and straight. Don't do any leaning. That's crazy. We'll do that later. You can let go of the rope and of course say, hello, Toronto. Nobody can hear you, so say whatever you like. All right. When you're ready to come back in, it's just a big step back. Now we are starting with our fearless anchor woman down there. So DJ, why don't you go ahead and give it a try for me? She's a professional. Look at her go. That's it. It's just a nice, easy oh, stance. Oh, that feels good. <laughs> oh, okay. Would you like to say hello to Toronto? Hello, Toronto! Beautiful work, DJ. You can take a big step back for me. Amazing. And Chris, do you want to give it a try? All right. Just go as far as you'd like. If you don't want to put your toes right over the edge, that, of course, is okay. But I'll encourage you to. There you go. All right. I see your toes over the edge there. Can you let go of that rope for me? Amazing. Hello, Toronto! Beautiful work, Chris. Very proud of you. Can you two give it a try together for me? Step on up. Let's get all those toes right over Toronto. We're an Edgewalk family. We do things together. Okay. Beautiful work. And on the count of three, let's say hello to Toronto. One, two, three. Hello, Toronto. Beautiful work, folks. You guys are absolutely amazing. You can take a big step back in it for me. Not too bad. Oh, damn. It's okay. Pretty good, right? Awesome. Yeah, it was cool. Glad you liked it. Now, I like that one. It's called Toes Over Toronto, but that's our warm up. What do you think we're gonna try next? Ooh. <laughs> we gotta lean back, all right? It is nice and safe, it's nice and fun. I'm gonna walk you through it step by step. First thing you're gonna turn, face me this way. All right. Beautiful. There's lots of bugs up here. Turn to face the tower for me. All right. I'm gonna jump over here so I can look at both your gorgeous smiling faces, of course. Uh, and we're gonna get started. All right, so first thing, nice and easy, make sure you trust your harness. I promise it's going to hold you. That's the most important rule while you're leaning back. Okay? All right. So just watch me. You're gonna hold that rope with two hands. Sit all the way down. Okay, so just stay standing for now. We'll do it one at a time. So yeah, you can both stand out for me. Just gonna show you first, then we'll go out one at a time. Sounds good? Yeah. Awesome. You can walk yourself all the way back until those heels go right over the edge. Get your toes up to the sky. Really dig your feet into the metal. 
push yourself back, nice straight legs, shoulders all the way. We like this position for two reasons. Number one, it's the safest and the most secure position that you can be in while you're hanging out. And of course, number two, it looks a lot cooler <laughs> than this, all right? So I don't want to see any nervous knees. Nice strong legs, shoulders all the way. Sounds good? Now this is my side of the tower. I'm very protective of my side of the tower. So you two are gonna have to try it on the fun side, okay. all right? Last but not least, when you're ready to come in, hold your rope, bend your knees, and walk yourself right back onto the platform. Now once again, we're starting with you, DJ, our fearless anchorman, so you can hold that rope. You can sit right down. Just stay standing there for me, Chris, just for a sec. Yeah, we're just gonna go DJ first, then we'll get you out there to join her, okay? Okay. Feet right up in front, and you can walk yourself right back. There you go, lock those knees, shoulders all the way back. Either side, whichever one works for you. Shoulders back, big double, high five. Amazing job there, DJ, beautiful work! It's pretty good, right? Are you good to stay there? Yeah. I'll leave you hanging out, all right? All righty, Chris, you're gonna hold that rope for me. You're gonna face the tower. We're gonna go nice and slow. So sit all the way down. I'm gonna hold your back here. Perfect, let yourself sit all the way down to that harness. Okay. Perfect, bring your feet just out in front of you, just up here. And all I want you to do right now is just let go of the rope. You're not gonna go anywhere. I just want you to feel how it's gonna hold you. So it's nice and safe. All right, so you can hold that rope for me. Oh, You're good to go. It's easy peasy. Hold on to that rope. You're gonna take a big old step back for me. We're gonna walk back nice and slow. Okay. Like this? Just like that. Make sure you stay sitting. Don't pull your weight up. Yeah, just walk yourself back. Gotcha. There you go. Let that harness do all the work. This is supposed to be relaxation for you. Get those heels right over the edge. Perfect. Now you're just gonna straighten out your legs all the way back. Shoulders back. And of course, a big double high five. Alrighty. Amazing job there, Chris. Look at you go. We've got two professional edge walkers. Can I see a big high five between the two of you? Big ol' high five, folks. Amazing work. Right. Awesome. <laughs> How we <laughs> there we go. How are we feeling? Pretty good? Good. Yay. Awesome. Now, I'm going to leave you guys here. I'm going to grab a coffee. I'll be back in a couple minutes, all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm kidding, of course. I committed to the bit. Now, folks, do me a favor. Keep those knees nice and straight all the way back. Take your shoulders. Relax. Let go of that rope. Relax at the beach if you like. Of course, take a look up. Give your friends up there in SkyPod a wave. And if you're feeling really brave, take a look down through your feet, all the way down to the ground. Yeah, just look down through your feet and you'll be able to see the ground below you there. Pretty good, right? It is what it is. Now this position here, of course, that's nice and comfy, nice and safe. This is how we're gonna take photos on the north side and on the west side of the tower. So I want you to feel nice and comfortable. Remember how this feels. Because you're okay, we're gonna do this a couple more times before our walk is done. Sounds good? Yeah. For now, hold that black rope. You can bend your knees. And you can walk yourselves right back onto the platform. Amazing work, you two. Fantastic job. A big round of applause. Beautiful work. Pretty cool, right? Those sharks also light up at night, so we can see them even when it's dark. And now, we'll get you both to take a little step back in towards the tower for me, all right? Now, we're on a new side of the city, so naturally, it's time for a new activity, right? Yes. We've put our toes over and we've done our lean back, so logically, what comes next? Can we swing? We gotta lean forward. We can't <laughs> swing, unfortunately. No, we will. We'll get nice and close to it. Chris, bonus points for you. <laughs> yes, we are gonna lean forward, all right? Again, it's nice and easy. I'll show you how it's done first. For this one, we're not gonna put our feet over the edge. Instead, we're gonna hang out at line number two. All right, so right up at this second line, a power stance. Just watch me. You're gonna push the black rope all the way out in front of you, nice and snug. And then you'll bring your body forward and rest your shoulder on the rope. Now we're very, very kind of focused on looking cool, so make sure you drive your hips forward. I don't want to see any cheating. All right, all the way out. Put all your pressure into that rope. When it's nice and snug, you can let go. Hit the Titanic pose. Go for a swim if you like. You can take a look out. You can take a look down. And of course, if you're feeling brave, you can take off. All right? Take off. When you're ready to come back in, just pull on your black rope and you'll stand up nice and straight. Now, DJ, you've been such a great anchorman. I'm going to give you a break this yeah. time. Chris wants to. We'll get you to go first for us down there at the end. So right on up to line number two here for me, Chris. That's perfect. Push your black rope all the way out in front of you as far as it'll go. Leave your rope there and just bring your body forward. Yeah, just keep on leaning. Keep your feet planted and just lean your body forward. Trust that rope. I promise it's going to hold you. We got lots of time. There you go. If you bring your rope to either shoulder, it'll give you a little bit more room to lean forward and you can keep on going out because you still got lots of slack in your rope. There you go. You're doing well. Keep leaning your body forward. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll feel it when it's nice and snug on your shoulder. There you go. 
So if you take a look over here, Chris, where your hands are, you're kind of holding yourself back. If you hold it a little lower, you'll be able to just kind of like slip into it and then just let it go if you like. There you go. See, it's a little easier that way. And then just push those hips forward all the way. Yeah, so just see how my body's nice and straight. Uh, so just bring your shoulder up a little bit and you'll be able to push your body out. So if you stand up nice and straight, there you go, you'll feel it. Look at him go, he's a pro. Amazing work. Chris, I'm proud of you. You're crushing it. Fantastic job. You can take a big step back in for me, Chris. So did I do the whole thing? Or? You're good to go. I'll get you to lean forward in just another sec. We'll give it one more try. You take a step back in. And we got DJ. Give it a try for me. There you go. Push that rope all the way out and lean yourself forward. There you go. So Chris, see how our body's nice and straight? I'll get you to try that again in just a sec. Okay. There you go. You can let go with your hands if you like. Beautiful. You can go on your toes. You're already there. I'm already. A superstar. Oh, she's supposed to go, we're supposed to go on There you toes. go. You can pull yourself back in. Hey, you want to, yeah? But don't you worry, Chris. Big round of applause for DJ. You can both give it a try together. So why don't you step on up right up to line number two for me. Push that black rope all the way out. There you go. Stay standing and just lean your body forward, pushing those hips forward all the way. There you go, Chris. Keep pushing that rope out as you go. Keep pushing. There you go. You are a little taller, so you're going to lean a little further. Let yourself rest right on that rope. There you go. And you can go up on your toes if you would like. Amazing work. That is exactly how you need to be there, Chris. You can go on your toes if you like. Beautiful job, you guys. Absolutely crushing it. Some superheroes. You can pull yourselves back in and a big round of applause. I am so proud of you two. Absolutely amazing. Alrighty, you two. So I need you both to give yourselves a big round of applause. You have just completed the edge walk. We all have gone a full 150 meters around the top of the CN Tower at 356 meters above the ground. You put your toes over Toronto, you lean back, you lean forward, you did a true official edge walk, and you two have just crushed a Guinness World Record. This is the highest external hands-free walk around a building in the entire world. You guys nice. did an amazing job. One last round of applause. All right. One weird high five. Amazing. Yay. Now we are going to head back inside. Before we do, take one last look up to Skypod. Give your fans up there a wave, say goodbye. You got some cameras just over here behind me. You can give them a wave. Say goodbye to your fans inside. All right. And lastly, you can hold those ropes. Come on back into the platform for me. We have one last goodbye out to that beautiful city. Goodbye, Toronto. It's been Bye, fun. Toronto. Beautiful. Farewell, Toronto. Amazing. Folks, you can follow me this way. We're going to head back on inside. Hold that rope with one hand. You do have to pay me to get back in for the high five, of course, in true edge walk fashion. All right. Beautiful. And Chris, big ol' high five. Amazing job. You can head right on back inside for me. All right. And DJ, my fearless anchor moment, <laughs> right on back inside. My name is Reed. Thank you for joining me up here at the Edgewalk on top of the CN Tower in Toronto. You folks keep on being amazing. <laughs>